Good evening. My name is Daryl Wheeler, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Iona College. And it is my absolute pleasure to welcome each and every one of you tonight to this historic moment in the history of our college. A special welcome, of course, is extended to the man of the evening, who we'll hear from shortly, and to his wife, Lori, his son, Robert, his grandchildren, L, Ryan, RJ, and his many family and friends. We also would like to extend a warm welcome to members of the Board of Trustees, who include Mr. Dave, Trustee Dave Brown, Trustee Andrew Dolce, Trustee Patrick Dunningham, um, Trustee Teresa Gottlieb, Trustee John Judge, Trustee Joanne Murphy, Trustee Steve Raitano, and Trustee Larry Wills. Elected officials that I know are here, and if I miss anyone, we'll be sure to identify you before the evening is over, include Senator Shelley Mayer. Representing the assembly member Amy Pollins' office is Kathy Draper. New Rochelle City Manager Chuck Strom is also here. I'd also like to extend welcome to our many friends, our alumni, faculty, staff, and of course, our students who are here for this very special occasion. It was just 18 short months ago, and Mr. LaPenta, might I add, on that particular day when we broke ground, it happened to be my birthday, and it was my first month here at Iona. So there's something special about this space that says, I am so happy to be a part of it. We gathered on this site to break the ground and begin construction. And as we can all see, the results are simply amazing. Absolutely. If I can use a phrase that is familiar to the business world, tonight we celebrate the opening bell of the La Pinta School of Business. However, as is appropriate in the tradition of our Catholic heritage, I invite Father Gerard to the podium for our invocation and blessing. Thank you, Dr. Wheeler. Let's just take a moment to remember in all places, especially in this beautiful atrium, we're in the presence of our loving God. Let us pray. God of all wisdom, giver of all good gifts, we thank you for the gift of this day. We offer our praise and thanks at the historical moment in the history and life of Iona College as we bless the Lepenta School of Business. You have blessed Iona College with a rich legacy in the discipline of business, accounting, finance, management, marketing, information systems, and other disciplines. A legacy known and celebrated throughout our country and throughout the world. A legacy rooted in the values of Blessed Edmund Rice, values of presence, compassion, and liberation. May his prayers and legacy continue to inspire our students in their studies and the call to be part of the mission and service of Iona, both locally and abroad. At this time, I'll bless the building with the Holy One and have the final prayer. God of all goodness, send your blessing upon this school of business. Fill these halls with the creating and life-giving spirit of wisdom, knowledge, justice, and compassion. Bless the administration, the faculty, and staff 
to be good stewards of your many gifts, that they will pass on to their students. Bless our benefactors who have made this renovation and expansion possible. We ask for your blessing in a special way upon Robert the Penter, his wife Lori, and his family for their generosity and support in this project. Bless us today and always, that as Gales, we may fight the good fight and so move our world. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Nice and loud. There we go. Thank you, Father Gerard. If you were to ask Mr. Lapenta, and I might say Bob, why he gives to Iona, he would undoubtedly and always say it's to support students. So here tonight, representing Iona's student body, is Ms. Hannah McGowan, President of the Student Government Association. Thank you, Dr. Miller. It is truly an honor to be here tonight representing the students of Iona College. I am so amazed we are all here to celebrate this outstanding achievement. Mr. Lapenta, you have dedicated so much of your legacy to the students of Iona. Words cannot adequately describe how grateful we all are to you for what you have made possible on this campus. From the Student Union, which is basically my second home, to this amazing state-of-the-art new business school, you continue to provide the support that ensures we have the best learning environments to grow and develop as students, leaders, leaders, and visionaries. For this, we are truly grateful. I am a part of a proud Iona family. I have always known Iona to be a very special place and I've been fortunate to attend the past four years. But now, as I stand here in this magnificent building, I am struck by a different sense of why Iona is so special. It's special because of people like you, Mr. Lapenta, and the many alumni who continue to believe and invest in the students. You have shown us the power of an Iona legacy and of being a Gale. We are the future teachers, business leaders, police officers, scientists, entrepreneurs and community leaders that will go on to move the world and we will be proud to say we are indeed Iona Gales. So Mr. Lapenta, on behalf of the entire Iona student body, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. You know, What's an academic institution without its faculty? So representing the faculty tonight is the chair of the Information Systems and Business Analytics Department, Dr. Shoshana Altshuler, who will provide remarks. Dr. Altshuler. Faculty has a personal workspace all under one roof. 
This creates new chances for interdisciplinary collaborations and teamwork, not to mention that our students will actually know where to find us. Um, and I'm not only saying that because uh, they can see right through our walls. <laughs> and this is a source of pride. This is a source of excitement and renewed energy that is already palpable on campus. You came here today because you thought the building was finished. Turns out, the building on this site is just about to begin, and I feel truly privileged to be a part of this next phase. Building experiences, building skills, building confidence, building relationships, and building future business leaders. On behalf of all of my colleagues, um, I really appreciate uh, this opportunity to extend our heartfelt gratitude to Mitchell Penta and to everyone who's been involved in this project for helping us build the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Altshuler. The saying goes, it takes a village. That's so fitting in describing this project We've had many partners along the way in making this beautiful building, this lively learning space come alive. I'd like to broadly recognize our many partners, and I'm sure they will be recognized individually in, in coming moments, and the tradespeople, along with the IOLA facilities team, for their hard work, and most of all, for meeting our deadline. Please join me in a round of applause to all the hands of the Now it is my absolute honor and privilege to introduce you to our new president. As in any organization, leadership is critical to success. So I am pleased to invite the ninth president of Iowa College, Dr. Seamus Carey, to provide his remarks. Thank you, Daryl. Welcome, everyone. What a great turnout. Today we're here to gather to dedicate a new, bu new building. It is familiar and perhaps even predictable this ritual of dedicating new buildings. We give speeches, we thank those who are responsible for seeing the project through, we cut ribbons, we applaud, and we celebrate. Because it's so predictable, it's easy to forget why the ritual is so important, why buildings are so important, why building the right building the right way for the right reason is so important. Winston Churchill gave us one answer. Speaking in 1943 in the ruins of the House of Commons in London to the necessity of rebuilding the space exactly as it was, he said, quote, we shape our buildings, thereafter they shape us. Churchill was, of course, talking about the democracy he believed the House promoted by its facing benches and the vigorous, vibrant face-to-face -face debate and deliberation they promoted. But his words pretty much fit any building we build. It's not simply a matter of build it and they will come, but of the necessity to build it right, to promote the right use, to achieve the right ends, so that, in as, as in our case today, those who study here become the right women and men we need to make our world a right place for all of us to live. I want to suggest to you that the building we stand here in tonight is built right. That this building has been designed to foster a new era of learning and creativity in business education. That it will house students and faculty dedicated to the pursuit of new ideas and solutions. That those faculty and students will be innovative, engaged in the classroom and the world, reflective and experiential that the work done in this building will be dedicated to promoting student success within its walls and beyond its borders, that it will educate students to function in a dynamic global environment, 
while ensuring that they are ethical, caring individuals dedicated to improving themselves, their communities, and the world that will carry forward our Christian <coughs> brother's heritage to promote what is needed by our students to be the best persons they can be, and that it will honor Bob Lepent the best by cultivating the kind of imaginations that would allow others to dream and do as big as he has done for our college. I want to suggest further that not only are those Iona values right, but that it is right to celebrate Bob Lepenta as a shining example of those values. Like many Ionians, Bob was a first generation college student. He became committed to Iona because of the compassion Iona extended to his high school friend to help him afford college after losing his father. Such compassion and generosity made Bob realize he wanted to be a part of a community that would care for someone that way. Since Blessed Edmund Rice first taught some poor Irish street kids, the Christian brothers have taught us to never lose sight of the power and the purpose of an Iona education to lift up those who can benefit most from what we do. Bob is an exemplary example of the ways in which an Iona education elevates and empowers students to live their lives in accordance with their highest principles and aspirations. Anyone who has spent time with Bob knows that he's smart, he's funny, he's visionary, he's focused, and extraordinarily generous. And today we get to recognize just how generous he can be. Bob's gift to the Penta School of Business is the largest single gift in the history of Iona College, one that will impact the college community for generations. In addition, it's a gift of imagination. Bob recognizes that we cannot just continue to do what we have always done. He believes deeply in the need for innovation in what we teach, how we teach, and why we teach. He knows that business doesn't stand still and that it needs men and women who are trained to make the trends and not just follow them. He also knows that all students need to learn to live with and lead change. Thus, while this building is the home of the Lepenta School of Business, he made sure that it would be used by students and faculty from all disciplines to reinvigorate teaching and learning across, across the entire curriculum. The Scottish poet David White wrote, quote, that generosity and giving is a discipline that requires paying attention and creating imaginative contact with those to whom we are giving. It is a form of attention itself a way of acknowledging and giving thanks for lives other than our own, end quote. Bob Lepenta's careful attention to Iona commands our deepest gratitude and our profound thanks. In return, we will show our gratitude best by paying attention, indeed by seizing the opportunities Bob Lepenta and the new Lepenta School of Business will create for faculty, students, and the Iona community. In doing so, we will be shaped by his dream in order that we may shape ourselves and the future for this college, this community, and this world. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, President Carey. And now it is my distinct pleasure to welcome the man of the hour, Mr. Robert B. Lapenta to the podium.
whenever I give a talk, I never use notes, but I'm so, I don't know what, I'm going to have a couple of notes here to look at because I know I'm going to leave some of the things that I want to say out tonight. But thank you, Dr. Carey, Dr. Wheeler, Anna, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, <laughs> but thank you so much. And thanks everybody for coming and what a turnout on such a historic evening for the Lamenta family and I own college. Really amazing. We just entered a new decade, and Iona is in the 80th year since its founding by the Irish Christian Brothers in 1940. And tonight, we're here to celebrate a new era for Iona College. The whole journey began back in 2015. The Board of Trustees, uh, along with the Iona management, were working on a strategic plan. And we knew that the world was becoming very difficult for private college institutions in America. A lot of millennials, or Z, whatever they call them, uh, are not <laughs> embracing the cost of, of tuition to attend a college. Uh, in many cases, doesn't give the payback that a lot of people are looking for when they attend the college. So we looked very hard at what it was gonna take to do, make some changes at Iona, to make sure we can continue our success and thrive in the new world. And the board and Iona management came up with two or three uh, new curriculum that we wanted to install. Uh, we looked at nursing, we looked at um, health sciences, uh, and then we looked at a new building. The business school has always been the center, the base on which Iona surrounds, and Iona is built. It's a great business school, and thank God we were recently named one of the top business schools in the country by the Princeton Department. Jim Hines, our chairman of the board, uh, stepped up and he financed the initiation of a whole new undergraduate and graduate program. The Entrepreneurial and Innovation Program, just a great program and it's going to meld business and all the arts together in being able to prepare our students to go out into the new world and become successful. I stepped up uh, and said I would try to help support getting this new building on track. And tonight we're seeing uh, the result of, of that tremendous journey that started probably four or five years ago. I remember walking the campus with um, um, president Nyer, our prior president, he was a great president, we now have a new great president, <laughs> and walking the campus and we were looking at sites that were being considered for the new, new building. And one of them was adjacent to North Avenue in the front of the campus. Another one was actually off campus, off to the right. And I said, Joe, the business school has always been the center, the key property on this campus. We gotta put it back where it belongs, in the center of the campus. And if you do that, I'll give you another two and a half million on top of the 15 million. <laughs> and, and Joe said, uh, we'll work on that. <laughs> well, tonight, I think you saw when you came in, I don't know if the lights were on, but it's a beacon. It, it, it's an incredible building that's going to support the education of so many students in the future. And it's going to bring Iona to a new world. Let me see where I am here. <laughs> okay. So tonight we're seeing the result of, of that, the board, and the initiative of so many people. And I have to thank, and whenever you thank people, you always forget a few and you, you make uh, some people unhappy, but uh, Andy Dolce, he's a member of our board. He is the OC 
seen, he's overseen so many projects, almost all of the buildings here were put together under his supervision. And they've been done on schedule, on time. Uh, he, Andy, you've done a great job. Our architect, the dancer group, and the construction company, Pavarini, I think you mentioned them. Um, they did a great job. And um, Rick Murray, he looked at and supervised the day-to-day -day construction of this facility. Let's give him a hand. Great job. Paul Sakara, VP of Advancement, um, you know, he worked so hard getting the additional funds, contributions, and commitments to help fund uh, the remaining balance of the construction. So, Paul, thanks so much. You did a great job. Our amazing VP of Finance, CFO, uh, Anne Marie Chantino. She invested the funds uh, that were uh, before they were ready to be used. Uh, she got additional financing. She's done a great job for Iona, and she's done a great job with this building. Emory, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, do you see the lighting in this building? <laughs> It's, it's been built with green technology, and uh, one of my divisions, uh, Tri-State, we have some of the people here, did an amazing job, I think, with the lighting. And it's going to uh, use 60% less electricity and last 10 years, so great job. <laughs> Over the past several years, I've received hundreds of, of letters uh, from people around the country. And over the past week, I must have received another 50, you know, from people I hadn't spoken to, congratulating me and thanking me for doing uh, what I did to get this, this project in motion. And when we did the groundbreaking, uh, Paul and the students put together a book and there must have been 150 letters in there from students expressing their gratitude for putting this uh, building in progress. And so many of them said, you have given me an example for what I want to do when I become successful. Tonight, I want to thank Iona. Iona gave me the education. They gave me the keys to go out, open doors, pursue my passion, and become successful. So I'm here because Iona gave me the ability to do what I was able to do. Coming from, growing up in Yonkers, coming from a family, uh, my father was a great man, my mother a great lady. My father never made more than $45 a week. And they taught me some very critical things. My mother, by the way, was a great, I know Anne Marie's a great CFO, my mother was even better. <laughs> she, would, she would take the $45, we'd have food, we'd have clothes, you know, we, we had toys. And she always had two or three dollars at the end of the week to invest in AT&T or Ford Motor Car. It was unbelievable. <laughs> but they taught me that uh, education was the key to success. My father never, you know, went to college, never had an education. And they taught me education is the key to success. Hard work, honesty, and pursue your passion. And that was a critical lesson that I learned and followed for the rest of my life. And I learned another lesson, not only that one, I learned another one. And I learned it here at Iona. And I think it was as, if not even more critical, to what my parents taught me um, when I grew up. I first heard of Iona, and, and Dr. Carey mentioned it, 
um, in, a, in a playground in Yonkers, and I was playing with an older friend of mine whose father had just passed away. And he wanted so badly to go to college, and he told me a story about his, his family not being able to afford it. And he came to Iona, and he met with the president, and he said, I can't afford to go to college. And the president said, you're coming. And I never forgot that. So when I graduated high school, I applied to Manhattan, St. John's, and Iona. And somehow I got into all three. I don't know how it happened, but. Um, and I thought about that day playing basketball. And I remembered that I only cared. And that brought me here. But my freshman year, and I've told this story a few times, I say was, was kind of like the uh, Charles Dickens uh, novel. It was the best of times and the worst of times. <laughs> my freshman, my first semester, I had a great time. And there were no girls at the school at the time. It's my luck that they only came two years after I graduated. But, <laughs> but I spent a lot of time at, at uh, the student union, uh, which was then the uh, tavern, uh, Beachmont Tavern across the street. We had a lot of fun. And after the first semester, uh, the, the report, my remarks came in. And I used to work at a food store, Day Shopwell at Hartsdale. And on a Saturday afternoon, the manager came up to me and he said, Bob, your dad's on the phone. And I think you better put earplugs in your ears because uh, he's not happy. And uh, I won't tell you what he said. But the news was that I had received a 1.5 GPA. And I owned it, sent me a nice note saying, that if I didn't get it to a cube 2.0 uh, at the end of my first semester, I would be asked never to come back to Iona again. <laughs> so that was the bad time, and that was the end of my good times, <laughs> because I spent the entire second semester in the library. And somehow, I got a 4.0 in the second semester. And the president, I think it was, uh, Dr. Powell called me in and he said, how did you do this? And I said, I have no idea. That just... <laughs> but it taught me a very valuable lesson. If you want to be successful, you've got to keep your eye on the, the goal line. And you've got to have a plan, and you constantly have to work on that plan to get the job done. You've got to follow your passion to get that job done. So I went out, I worked hard, came on the goal line, and I became successful. And I think, again, as President Carey indicated, I think I, in many ways, represent what Iona is all about. Providing a quality education to many students who are the first in their family to attend college. Um, then, to enable them to go out, give them the keys to open the doors, to become successful and fulfill their dreams. I can't tell you how proud I am tonight and how indebted I am to Iona for giving me the ability to uh, enable this building to be built. This will be the home over its lifetime of 40 to 50,000 students that are going to get a great education, get keys, go out, become successful, and move the world. And to have the Lepenta name attached to some of that, I cannot describe what it means to me and my family. Thank you so much. Thank you.
and for your words, your inspiration, and your vision. Now, a moment that we've long awaited, and certainly since the groundbreaking, I ask Trustee Andy jo Dolce, Mr. LaPenta, President Carey, and Hannah to come forward. as we do the official ribbon cut to the Penta School of Business. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. 